This presentation aims to outline what a DIT can offer you, what you should expect from a DIT and how they can tailor your requirements to match your particular shoot. Coordination of post requirements. Prior to the DIT starting any job, they need to establish communication with a variety of different people. This will ensure the expectations for each department are established and met. The DIT will need to liaise with the post facility, the editor, or the recipient who is going to be receiving the file-based material at the end of the shoot. This line of communication is followed to guarantee the material delivered is handed over correctly, ruling out any unforeseen surprises and costs. Technical management. As well as having an understanding of what needs to happen in the post chain, attention to the onset workflow is crucial to the process. There are many different ways to shoot. This coupled with an ever-expanding arsenal of different cameras and formats can lead to complications throughout the chain. Part of the DIT's role is taking care of how these variables are going to impact your shoot and how well it will work before you start shooting. Secure transfer. The key word here is security. The DIT needs to make sure you have the right equipment on the day to ensure everything they do is safe and secure. A loader, for example, busy working with a focus puller, coming over and dragging and dropping a file and then running off is probably the least safe way to deliver your files. The definition of dragging and dropping is literally taking files from one point to another and hoping the computer does this accurately. At a minimum, you need to have a way of guaranteeing that what is copied from A to B is true. Using software that performs checksums is the first step to ensure this. Data checks. This builds on from secure transfer. A manual approach is used to visually check the transfers have copied byte for byte, confirming every bit of data from a card or hard drive has been transferred and guaranteed. Visual checks. The huge advantage of file-based acquisition is that once the media is received by a DIT, within a very short space of time, anything that has been shot can be verified. This is a process which is not available with film. A good DIT will give you that advantage. They are trained with a technical eye, highlighting at a very early stage any problems with the material or by flagging up any areas that may be destructive to your digital negative. By doing a visual check of your offloaded material, you the producer will be safe with the reassurance that your data is backed up and quality controlled. On a large set where you need to move on to the next setup, that can be a huge advantage. Double backup. We don't treat a single copy as a backup. A minimum of two copies of everything that channels through a DIT is standard. What can a DIT do for production? Security. Safe in the knowledge that what is shot on set is in the bag. Technical input. If a production are unsure of a process or have any questions, they can go to the DIT and ask, why are we shooting raw? Why do we need this bit of kit? Sign off on rushes, ensuring the various checks and procedures are all complete. Camera report sheets. We use these to document information about the shoot, material shot and anything else that needs highlighting. We will go through the individual fields of this later on in the presentation. The next point of communication is between the DIT and the Director of Photography. This relationship is very important and allows both parties to become comfortable with the parameters and expectations of the job. The DIT will be able to advise on the advantage or limitations of using certain equipment and processes to achieve the goal of the DOP. We can be technically creative in a non-destructive way. Using on-set colour management equipment, we can create a look that can be applied to the live feed and monitored by the DOP instantly. These colour decisions can be burnt into the dailies before reaching editorial. The colour management process can be something that is worked on before shooting by using test footage in a grading suite with a colourist, the DOP, a DIT and a colour scientist. Together they can generate the look for the project and deliver a custom 3D lookup table or LUT. For shorter form projects, the look can be created on set and can deliver similar results. Raw assessment, ensuring that what has been captured is within the parameters of delivery. Exposure assessment, using a waveform monitor, the DIT can establish if the image is clipping or where the highlights are and then relay this back to the DOP. Assistant camera, technical support for the camera team. A lot of camera teams are from a film background. Although many of them are now familiar with digital camera setups and how they work, the DIT should have a strong understanding on set of how the camera works technically. Although the focus puller takes control of the camera, a good DIT should know all the setups of the camera and how they work and the process of recording. A DIT has to understand the difference between file formats, color space, naming conventions, 
and what the advantages and pitfalls are between these. They are the person who will troubleshoot this for both you and the camera team. Color LUTs, this is referring to the creation of any looks before the shoot in the form of a lookup table. The DIT needs to be in communication with all the various post parties, the edit post and storage. This is to ensure the digital camera report sheets, offloaded material and transcodes all travel to the correct people. Digital camera report. The route of a DIT is not a determined path. The majority of DITs come from a camera department background where they are familiar with taking camera notes. Camera report sheets act as a safety check for the DIT as they are checking the data. It helps the DIT identify any problems which can be relayed to the DOP in production. The camera report sheet is set up for a digital shoot, highlighting the type of camera format being used and the default project settings, which include aspect ratio, frame guides, frames per second, and shutter information. Also, ISO and color space, which are similar to the types of film stocks traditionally used. This form also details processing and delivery instructions, again akin to film process. The bottom of the report sheet shows how much data has been shot and which drives the information has been backed up to. The drives are ID'd and clearly labelled so they can be easily distributed to where they need to go. The basic elements of what a DIT should be able to provide are security, transcoding, onset colour management, live raw assessment. The choice. Efficiency, security and cost are all factors that a DIT can and should take into consideration before proposing any kind of workflow solution or advice. Factors and circumstance will always affect every production differently. Some productions will have larger budgets than others, some will need lightweight and portable setups, others may need transcodes turning around directly after wrap. As a DIT, it's knowing what can be delivered within the allocated time and having an understanding of what can be achieved with which kit and the cost implications. These conversations will evolve between the DIT, DOP, production and post, or before shooting. When booking a technician for your production, which person is right for your job? Data Wrangler. A Data Wrangler's primary duties will include setting up the camera and making sure the frame rates, real names, type of codec, etc. are correct and consistent. They will offload your material, create multiple backups, check footage for errors, and mark all information down on the camera report sheets. DIT. A DIT will have the skill set to identify any camera errors by viewing a live feed from the camera on set. This could be image flickering or artifacts that may not be noticeable to the untrained eye as well as securely offloading the material, QCing the footage and filling out camera report sheets, the DIT can deliver transcoded material in the desired format. Senior DIT. A senior DIT will be able to do a great deal more with your image. By using onset color management tools, they will be able to apply a look to the live feed in an active environment and adjust this to the DOP's liking. They are also responsible for setting up onboard recorders such as the codecs and having the skills to ensure that this aggregation is intact and tested. They will ensure there is constant communication with the relevant departments, connecting all elements together, guaranteeing the entire pipeline works as smoothly as possible. There are a number of possible kit options that could be used to support your production. These options would normally be paired with the relevant skill set. Option 1. This is the traditional data wrangler kit. This equipment would be classed as lightweight, a laptop, an uninterruptible power supply or UPS and bus power drives giving you multiple backups. This would be suitable for remote locations where power may not be available. Option 2. Option 2 consists of a Mac Pro tower, a larger uninterruptible power supply and a high-end or grade 1 monitor. Option 2 will be able to deliver everything option 1 can but the footprint of the equipment is much greater so this setup would normally be used for studio based projects. The real advantage of the tower over the laptop is the ability to not only securely back up your raw media, but to quickly deliver transcodes to your deliverable format. A larger monitor allows the DIT to do a more precise analysis of the raw image. Option 3 is the next level, which gives you more creative control by using an onset color management tool such as TrueLight Onset in conjunction with a calibrated 10 bit grade 1 monitor. This allows the DOP to utilize this as a tool for lighting and achieve their desired look. This setup would normally be used at the higher end of the film and commercial market. At the end of a successful day of shooting, what do you expect the DIT to hand over and to whom? The digital negative. 
This will be a physical asset, either an external hard drive, a raided copy, or in some cases an LTO5 tape. These assets will be independently handed over to two separate parties and will be production's responsibility. Transcodes. Transcodes will travel to editorial with the master sound ready to be used in the edit. This may travel on the same drive with the master copy of the material if editorial requires this. Camera report sheets. A copy will travel with each asset that leaves a set, a copy to editorial, a copy to production, and a copy that will remain on set with the DIT. All these elements will need to be tailored to your shoot. Production should be able to call the DIT and explain the location and which camera format is being used. They can ask the DIT how the data will be secured, how best to ensure the DOP is happy, and that posts will receive what they require.